Welcome back to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. I'm Mark Ramo, and joined this week by Violet House Store. And you just heard Tracy Chapman talking about a revolution. Before that, Lauren Entress, New Things. And we started off with Mark Mandeville and Rayanne Richards with Honeybee. Let's go. Tracy to- Chapman? <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think she had any connection to the area at all. I didn't know. It's just there's been so much talk lately about her being the first, you know, artist to win in a country music song of the year or whatever, because somebody covered her song Fast Car. I was scrolling through and I saw something pop up saying how she was spent some time in um Western Connecticut uh when she was at a college preparatory high school at uh, the Worcester school. Oh, and interesting. That's actually where she wrote this song talking about a revolution. No kidding. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. It's an awesome song. Obviously it's Tracy Chapman. Like, sure. You probably all know fast car. We all know fast car. Everybody knows fast car. It's a good song, but also tracks like this really demonstrate exactly the kind of artist she is and always has been. Because, I mean, this is off her self-titled. It's classic. Yeah, I, I remember listening to this in the late 80s, early 90s. Just such a staple. Mm-hmm. She's, she's amazing. Absolutely incredible. Always loved her voice. And then before that, we have Lauren Entress from Hartford, Connecticut with New Things. Uh, Lauren Entress is a very, is a moderately well-known figure for basically any musician in the Western New England area. Mm, yeah. Just in general. But may not be known for his solo stuff as well as he definitely should be, because this track's amazing. He's the kind of artist that you see on the uh, on the credits for basically any album that's come <laughs> out over the last couple of decades. Yeah, uh, he'll be there playing one instrument or another. He's mixed records for basically everybody. Uh, he's mixed records for Tom Jones. He's mixed records for Cheryl Crow, Roseanne Cash, Stephen Sills. He's appeared on records with like. Dozens of local artists like uh, Big Al Anderson, Tracy Grammer, Susan Tedeschi, Aaron McHewn, Christine Ullman. He's everywhere and a truly incredible all around artist. And when he released the album Red Letter Day back in 2021, I thought it was incredible. And this shows it. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? Yeah, I, I, I love finding these gems, I think. You know, it's like people that are not in the limelight, people you, you don't know their names but they're there they're making things happen they're so talented working mm. with so many people it's, it's great to listen and to see what they do on their own yeah truly incredible artist i really like the sound of this record like there's those influences from you know americana and folk rock sort of styles but i hear like hints and flavors from 70s british rock which is something that he talks about when it comes to the this album like I hear these little dashes of Pink Floyd here and there. I hear like a little a little pinch from Cream here and there. Like it's there. It's subtle though. And Lauren also has a, a recording studio called Harmony Street in Tallinn, Connecticut. Awesome, yeah. And we started off with Mark Mandeville and Rayanne Richards with Honey Bee out of Webster, Massachusetts. Mm. Just love this song. It's just so feel good. Song of the week, you know. Mm-hmm. Absolutely lovely harmonies, especially. Really nice. Their songs poetically reflect personal experiences as factory workers, teachers, community organizers, and natives of post-industrial mill towns in central Massachusetts. And oh, and, and each summer since 2010, Mandeville and Richards have organized the Massachusetts Walking Tour, where they hike the roads and trails of the Commonwealth more than 100 miles in less than two weeks in support of arts and local communities along the way. I thought that was really cool. That is incredible. Like apparently each evening they stop in yet another town, put on a free concert there in that town, along with some local artists and local performers that can accompany them. Mm, Really awesome stuff. (laughs) That sounds fun. Yeah. Get your walking shoes. (laughs) Yeah. So what do we ask next? All right. Let's go to this block. Uh, we're going to start off with Ginger Libations and Angelie Rose, Locate S1, and finish it off with Ken Mary. So let's go to 
Ginger Libations and Angelie Rose, Splendor Never Ends. <laughs> 